in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. For our good night message on this Monday, the 14th of March 2021, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the Word of God for today, entitled, Be Merciful Just As Your Father Is Merciful. Today we had a short passage from Luke chapter 6 verse 36 to 38. In these three verses we had very deep recommendations by Christ. Be merciful even as your father is merciful. Judge not and you will not be judged. Condemn not and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. From what St. Luke tells us after proclaiming the Beatitudes to his disciples, Jesus made his revolutionary call to love every person as a brother or sister, even those considered enemies. Jesus fully knows and explains to us that we are all brothers and sisters because we have one Father. Continually seeking out his children, God wants to build a relationship with us. While holding us up to our responsibilities, God's love heals, nourishes, and takes care of us. It is a mother's attitude, compassionate and tender. This is the mercy of God that reaches out personally to every human being with all their weaknesses. In fact, God prefers those who are marginalized, excluded, and rejected. Mercy is the love that fills the heart and flows out to others, to neighbors as well as strangers, to society around us. Since we are children of God, we can imitate his characteristics of love, acceptance, and knowing how to wait for the right time for others. Unfortunately, in our personal and social lives, we breathe an atmosphere of growing hostility and competition, of mutual suspicion, categorical judgments and fear of others. Grudges accumulate and lead to conflicts and wars. As Christians, we can go against the mainstream by giving a clear-cut witness. We can take the step to be free from ourselves and from external circumstances and begin to rebuild the weakened or broken bonds in our family, in our workplace, in our parish community, or our political party. If we have hurt someone, let's have the courage to ask forgiveness and start again. It's an act of great dignity. If someone has truly offended us, let's try to forgive them and make room for that person once more in our heart so that the wound can heal. But what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is not forgetfulness. It is not weakness. It does not mean taking serious things lightly or considering as good what is in fact bad. It is not indifference. Forgiveness is a clear-sighted act of will and thus a free act that welcomes the other as he or she is despite the wrong done to us, just as God welcomes us sinners despite our faults. Forgiveness is the sign of the power of character that is in you, that you are a strong somebody. Forgiveness means not reacting to the injuries received with more wrongdoing, but doing what Paul says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans chapter 12 verse 21. Such open-heartedness cannot be improvised. It is a daily conquest, a constant growing in our identity as children of God. Above all, it is a gift from the Father that we can 
and must ask from him. Be merciful as your heavenly father is merciful. A young woman from the Philippines told this story. I was only 11 when my father was killed, but justice was not upheld because we were poor. When I grew up, I studied law because I wanted justice for my father's death. But God had another plan for me. A colleague invited me to meet people who were seriously committed to living the gospel. I started doing the same. One day I asked Jesus to teach me how to live his words, love your enemies. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 44. In a real way because I still felt hatred within me for the men who had killed my father. The next day at work I met the head of the criminal group. I greeted him with a smile and asked about his family. He was astonished by this. And I was even more surprised at what I had done. The hatred within me started breaking down and was transformed into love. However, that was only the first step. Love is creative. I thought that every member of the criminal group had to receive our forgiveness. My brother and I visited them to re-establish a relationship and bear witness that God loves them. One man asked our forgiveness for what he had done as well as prayers for himself and his family. It's not easy to be as merciful as our Father is, yet this is the call we have. You are struggling with issues of forgiveness I know in your life, but the only thing you are asked to do is to wish well those people who have done harm to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Close like no